My name is Andrew Rice. I'm the Director of Instruction at Berkeley Hall in Bluffton, South Carolina. This morning I wanted to talk a little bit about impact and its importance to the golf swing. As I'm sure you've noticed looking at top golfers throughout the world, impact is really the most important part of the golf swing. It's the one true fundamental that is consistent throughout every player's golf swing. There are so many different ways to swing the club, yet really only one way to impact the golf ball. I wanted to go through some very important elements when it comes to the impact position. Firstly, the lead and most important element of a great impact position, as I've studied the top players, is getting the weight 80 plus percent forward at impact. In this position, the hips have moved forward, the left leg is just beginning to post, it's not entirely posted yet, but the hips are forward and that weight is forward. What that will enable us to do is to deliver a descending downward blow onto the back of the golf ball, which is really imperative when we're talking about hitting irons, but also certainly for fairway woods and the driver. The second element to a good impact position is that the handle must always lead the club head into the golf ball. I think a big contributing factor here is the quality of your grip. Firstly, it must always be in the fingers. But secondly, if you have a grip that's too neutral or perhaps even worse, weak, that's going to encourage that action as the golfer attempts to square the face at the moment of impact. So if you are going to work on your grip, make sure, if anything, I'd rather see it a little strong because that's going to encourage the handle to lead the club head into the ball. The second, and I would say perhaps most confusing element of impact is really going to be body shape. Okay? Here, if you think about these two statements, I've got to stay behind the ball, yet in order to get a descending blow in the ball, I've got to get my weight forward. How do we approach that? I think this is the way to do it. Coming down to the ball, we want to feel like our head stays over the ball. Don't ever let your head drift in front of the golf ball. So your upper body is going to stay on the ball whilst the hips and the lower body drive forward. Well, that accomplishes getting my weight forward while still providing the sense of being behind the golf ball. That shape that you currently see in my body is what I refer to as body shape and I think it's really important in getting the golf ball to jump off that club face. Give that a try and I think you'll have some good success.